it was the only hope I had in this situation because it was clear that my privacy had been invaded, my medical records, my, my personal information that no one had a right to obtain. But it had been viewed and shared shared with my employers and now shared with my kids sports club there were clear indications that people knew particular things about me such as what hospital i stayed at when i had the closed head injury to overhearing personal conversations I was having in my own home. There were so many psychological attempts to really oh, interrogate me. And it didn't stop there either because then my property started getting damaged. I was renting a car, which I was driving for my work as a courier. While it was parked, it was reversed into on three occasions. And then I decided to, to buy a car. I had $6,000 to buy a car. The car I purchased was one month after purchasing it. It became a write-off. So to top it off, I had completed the academic work of my social work masters. For one year, I waited for my social work placement. Finally, I was interviewed by a nonprofit and they offered me, uh, they offered me a placement. But during the interview, number one, one of the people that was interviewing me, who would be my supervisor, her screen was blank. And she was putting words into my mouth, such as that I wanted to work with um, vulnerable women and their children and basically they told me that the times I would be working would be unsupervised and across various different um, locations. My intuition said no. After the last two years by this time it was three years so after the last three years I was incredibly cautious so I rejected that offer for a student placement I then went for an interview at a government department working with ex-offenders I didn't get that placement. Further time carried on. By this time, I was incredibly distressed, thinking that I've just spent the last two years studying and I'm being further discriminated against by a 
a social work faculty for a university in Wagga Wagga. So by this time, I am just wanting to do a placement anywhere. I'll accept anywhere you, I'll accept anywhere. That's what I told the university. The placement um, officer that I had the, for the previous year, suddenly quit. I had a new placement coordinator who was very nice. He was very nice, but he spent most time email, uh, emailing me, very long and descriptive, and he was using like a trauma-informed approach in his communication style to me. He found me a placement within a few weeks for an NDIS provider. 